Hi guys, I wanted to come to you today with a Sephora VIB sale haul. Um, a couple of things. I have the appreciation sale stuff still here. One of them has been used. Um, I've already opened it and used it. I shot that video a couple of times and never got it up, so I'm going to throw it all in this. Um, I had $16 left to get to VIB Rouge this year, and so I had seen a couple of people put up videos. I hadn't been paying attention to it. Um, and I got a video yesterday at uh, work, not a video, a email at work yesterday that said that was the day the sale started. I didn't even know when the sale started. So um, I went shopping yesterday and I got some things and it was actually worse than this, but I took three things back today I and that was like $70 worth of stuff. So um, one of them was the Urban Decay Cherry Palette. I had been wanting it and then I got it because yesterday was the launch day and I came back and I watched some tutorials and I would have looked like a sick person if I did. I was like, there's no way you're going to get that to come out right. So I took it back and I heard, I think it was Tati that was saying, this is not an everyday palette. And the way I was looking at it, I was like, that's not an everyday palette. So um, I watched Tara Baby and Tati and um, Tati loved it. Tara Baby was okay with it. Um, but I, after watching them and some others, I was like, trust me, you will be a disaster with that. So I didn't want to do that. And then I took back two Marc Jacobs uh, lip things. And I have one still in here because I have enough lip stuff. I don't need to add to it. So I took back, took it back, but I still went nuts enough. So let me start out with the appreciation store uh, haul that I did. And I thought I did really good with it. And then I screw up here, but then no, whatever. Um, the appreciation sale, I just ran out. I was going to run out of the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, and so I picked this up, and it just happened to hit when that came, and um, as you can tell, I am already digging into this one and absolutely love this stuff, so I did dig into that one. The other thing that I got was another bottle of the Clean Reserved Skin um, Perfume. Um, when I had the virus back a month ago, and it was a headache for like five days, a monstrous headache. Um, this was a perfume I could sm I could spray on me because it wasn't like a migraine. It didn't hurt my head to have a scent. Uh, migraines, I can't smell any scents or anything. But this smells like a hug and it reminded me of my mother. So um, that made me feel better to be reminded of my mother. And um, so I used almost all of that up. I was getting towards the end of it anyways. So I bought this and um, so this will go back in my rotation, but I haven't opened it yet. I'm actually trying to get through a um, Bath and Body Works perfume right now before I open that. And then I bought two of the Beauty Waters from Sun and Park and there is a reason for this. I had gone into Sephora because I was going to have to, I was needing to buy this and um, I found out the appreciation sale was coming in so I wanted to look and see if there was anything that I needed and I went to Sephora and I could not find this beauty water and so I asked the lady that was there because it's usually in like um, a special section of um, different kind of products and I asked her I said where is the Sun and Park Beauty Water? And she goes, oh, we don't carry that anymore. And I was like, I just saw it online. And she goes, well, it, it's probably just what we have left of the Beauty Water. So I ordered online. And um, so I ordered, I picked this up in the store. And I ordered these three things online. And so I got these online and I started to get more. But I was like, you know what? You won't need more. Yesterday I was in Sephora and I found a box of this. So I don't know what they were doing, but they do have them in stock now and I was happy and I'm glad that I didn't buy more than two of them, but I'm stocked up. So that is all that I got from my appreciation sale back there that now you'll finally get to see what I did. So then yesterday, um, like I said, I got the cherry palette and I got two, um, 
of the Marc Jacobs. One was the solid lip gloss, and then one of them was just like the Allow Me that I usually get. But I still got some other ones in there that I need to get through, and then I got another one in there in the in the bag here that I want to show you that I got. I want to try it first. So here's the bag of samples they gave me, and um, the little totes in there in the other room that. I wanted to see this. This was kind of interesting. NARS. I don't know what it is. It's called American Woman. I don't know what that means. What is this? Oh, I guess it's an app. There must be a tube in there or something with the lipstick, and you just twirl it off. I don't know. But I guess that's the color I got. And I that is so my color. Um, that is like one of the colors that I took back from um, Marc Jacobs um, this morning. So I went nuts yesterday and I got home and I was like, I have to take some of this back. And so there's some um, Boom Boom cream or stuff. I cannot use this. It's way too much for me. So um, but that's some of the samples I got. Who cares about those, right? So... I got this beauty blender. I have not had a beauty blender in a while. I wanted to go, I wanted to try it. And the pink ones don't impress me. And then they had the tan one, and that didn't impress me either. So um, I found this one, and it is sapphire. So I absolutely love that. So I got the beauty blender, and I am going to start using that with my makeup again. And um, I love that color, I think it's just gorgeous. So that's one of the things that I got. Um, you all know that I love facial sprays, face setting sprays, any kind of spray that I spray on my face, it's all good. I got two of the Urban Decay All Nighter Extra Large um, bottles. And for regular, you get four, no, what is this? Regularly, you get four ounces and something for $32 or $34. And this one, this, oh, there's a pamphlet in there. Um, this all-nighter right here is an 8.11 ounce, and it is 8.11 ounce, duh, for $39. And with the 20% discount that I got, I come out to $31. So I got this less than double, even less than it would be for just one. So I picked up two of these because I love these and I know I will go through these. You know how I am. Um, I started to pick up some Clinique Moisture Surge, but I didn't. So um, I don't know why. I just didn't. I have other things in there I can use. Um, here's the one lip gloss that I bought. I've heard about this and I wanted to um, try it. I've never tried any of this and it is Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. And I heard that this one, a lot of people liked this one. So um, this is the one that I got and it is the um, That's what it looks like. And what is this called? Gloss Gloss Bomb. It's the Universal Lip Luminizer. So that is the one that I picked up from Fenty Beauty. That is the first thing I picked up from Fenty Beauty. Um, and I absolutely love that. And I think that'll be really good. Then I picked up some Urban Decay... Um, eyeliners 24 7 travel eye pencil set it's $29 but there's five of them in here and the reason I got it I don't even know if you can tell right now that I have eyeliner on I've been using all May I've been trying to use up stuff that I have and when I put this on like an hour later it's all gone and I am at work and I go to the bathroom a couple of hours after I get to work and I'm like where's your eyeliner so um, I thought I would give these a try and see how these turned out and there's a lot of different colors in here for $29 and so I decided to go that way and see how that works out for me. So I'm going to try those and then I got an Urban Decay um, 
I was playing the Urban Decay section, can you tell? Urban Decay Eyeshadow, and it is in Soltis. And I absolutely love this one. And the girl that I was talking to, she actually um, had it on, and it was gorgeous, and I can't get it out of the package. I'm gonna get it out of the package now. Tear the whole package up. Um, really? There's a trash can behind the camera if you're wondering what I'm throwing at. Um, this is what it looks like. So cute. Whoops. That's what it looks like in there. And it's brown. You can't tell by the beauty, fi um, beauty finder. Viewfinder. But it looks like a crazy color. But if you're looking at it, it's green and brown. You really can't tell from what I just did. And that's what it looks like when it's on. So I thought that was a really pretty color and it looked gorgeous on her. So I got that and I can't wait to try that on my eyes. So that and those two go together. Well, hi. I don't know what kind of noise that was. It's supposed to be woohoo or you hoo or oh, I don't know. I am a you hoo So the last thing I got was the Clinique Get Cheeky. And I think this will go well with those colors. But, and they only had one in the store. They just put them out and they had one left. So I was like, yay. So this is good cheeky. And it's kind of plaid. There's a cat hair. Um, it's kind of plaid looking there, the get cheeky part. But this, I thought there was a mirror in it, but I guess there's not. I, mean, I don't really care because I'm not going to use the mirror anyways. But I love this, um, you know I love these because I've had all these, um, I've had two or three different colors and one of them is in my um, use it up right now. But let me get it open again. I figured I could use these two as blushes and this one as a highlighter or an eyeshadow. You can use any of this eyeshadow. But I absolutely loved the... Um, That's what the darkest one looks like right there. Let me see. Let me get a clean finger here. Um, that's what the lightest one looks like. And then that is what the second one so this one right here is right here. That one is right here. This is a disaster. Um, and the middle one right here is this one right here. So I loved it and you know I love these little daisies and so this was $29.50 and then I got 20% off of that. So I was super excited about that. So that is all that I ended up keeping with my Sephora sale um, that I got. Um, I didn't, I just needed $16 to um, get to Rouge and as you can tell I went over that but I haven't done a whole lot this year in Sephora. You haven't seen hauls or anything like that and then with the appreciation sale I got skincare and the lip um, stuff. That's what I got in that one in the perfume because I love this. I wanted that again. Um, so I kind of treated myself to some things and I don't feel bad now that I did take some of that stuff back. I'm um, like the cheeky palette, the cherry palette. Um, that was something that I wasn't going to use. I'm going to keep this out. I'm going to put it right here because I will break it if I throw it in there. Um, but I tried to be I tried to be good once I figured out I didn't open anything up or use it. Um, I just went through it, looked at it all, and then um, this is the first time I've opened it up and swatched anything. So, But I love everything that I kept, and I'm really super proud of it. So, um, If you got anything from the Sephora sale and you think I need to get something, please let me know down below. If you've got any of these things, had them, like them, don't like them, let me know that as well. I always love to know your opinions on that. Um, 
If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe, please do. I would love to have you here, and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a good day. Bye.